Hello, I'm Captain Rick Rodriguez, a commander of the 820th 10 Company. Hello, I'm First Sergeant Patrick, First Sergeant 8, uh, 820th 10 Company. And what we're here to talk about is really how we took a company that had um, a kind of underperforming readiness metrics and then turned it around in the span of about three to six months into a higher performing company that had uh, more adherence to the organizational standard and uh, really exceeded in the readiness metrics. As uh, Major Dylan Bossy mentioned before, right, it, it's we need to get ready. That's where it starts. Mm -hmm. um, it starts from the ground, ground level mm -hmm. and, and it works away from Mm -hmm. uh, from a private all the way to a first line of commander as well. Mm -hmm. We need to get it ready as well. And right. we need to be there step by step with them. And that's what it's about. Showing face, holding them accountable, and, and being accountable as well. Right. We're gonna get ready. Get so the, the, the key is, is really realistic training, get out of that repetitive motion of just simply showing up to battle assembly. The training schedule is is a true document now. It's not like a it's not like something that somebody puts together and then says, well, that's a guideline, let's move it left and right. No, we adhere to the training schedule if it, and when we get it put out, but we get buy-in from uh, the, the platoon leaders all the way down on what that training schedule is going to look like. And platoon leaders really have a say on what needs to happen because they're in charge of their platoons. Quite honestly, every soldier in this company is going to be a future leader. So we don't start leadership training once they become an NCO. We start leadership training from the ground up, from uh, e E1 to E4. So everybody sits in on the commander's time. It's not a, a pull uh, the, the platoon leadership out or the, uh, just the leaders out and we talk about it. We, we have the entire company in there. And then, as you can see, our, our, our readiness metrics have increased significantly. Green across the board in all of our medical and dental. APFT is one of the highest in the Army Reserves right now. Weapons qualification, getting back to basics, it's, uh, that, I, I, I think we're, we're leading the brigade right now in that uh, and, and we're pretty high in, in the division. Really it's what it's done is this whole aspect of, the, the, of looking at the metrics, it's really just kind of a picture of how the company feels, how, how the company has internalized, I, I keep saying this over and over again, bringing it in, internalizing what it means to be part of the organization A20. You've got to do your uh, APFT, you've got to get your medical and dental done, and, and if you are going to be a part of this organization, you've got to at least do that. That's number one. From a leadership perspective, we had to do a little bit more in terms of developing our leaders. The, the key is, is really realistic training, get out of that repetitive motion of just simply showing up to battle assembly. 